1973, Cordell Hall. I'm guessing this dam was built in 73. What a nice dam, what a nice place. They got all this cool fishing with all these, and there's like rod holders here. And it's the Cumberland River, or, or the beginning of Old Hickory Lake, whatever you want to call it. And we're out here today, and we're gonna do some striped bass fishing. We got our Cotton Cordell Red Fin, that's the Smoky Joe color. And he's got 65 pound braid with a two ounce weight. Here's the parking lot, literally parked right there. And then here's the bathroom, and it's nice. Men's and women's. And then it's just a ramp all the way down there to where I'm standing. We are going to attempt to throw it out there. Oh. Pretty good. We'll do better on the next couple. Let him sink a little there. There we go. Get him running kind of slow. They like it slow and low. Strike bass don't want to hit it going too fast. I just like to knock it and run with it. Alright, cast number one. Check the drag. Good. Why not? Oh, oh, now that's not good. Now see, it got hung on itself. Mid-cast. And that won't do. The dog won't hunt. They won't bite that. Might need to do a three-way rig. We'll see what happens. First cast, no, no good. No bueno. Something just hit this. Whap. You know when something hits a seven inch lure. Felt little, like an inquisitive. Nah, nah, I just got hung up on myself. Uh. Yeah, that's, that's two casts in a row I got hung up like that. I might not be able to fish this that way. to put it on a three-way rig. All right, here we go. It's on Whopper Plopper, 130. Big dog. Gotta let the big dog eat. Sometimes you gotta let the big dog eat. You know what I'm saying? That's what we're gonna try to do. Big dog. Yeah, that's what he throws. Oh, wow. Just right here in front of us, something just jumped. Osprey. Angry Osprey. Hungry Osprey. Oh, did he say the debris coming out? Yeah, yeah. He said he's gonna move some debris. I heard him say that from in front of the gate, the floodgate. What I'm thinking is they got a bunch of debris lakeside piled up, and when that barge come through, it really called attention to it. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey guys, we we got to get. <laughs> I got somebody's line. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, stop, stop, <laughs> please stop, I had it, I could undo it. 
Got it. Got it. That's not mine. <laughs> uh, Good for you. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. Guys, he had this fish on. I had my line on his, my hook on his line. Oh. I patiently took, you saw it, you guys watched it. I took the hook off and he still got the fish. <laughs> yes. This is a small one. Yeah. Good catch though. It's legal. There we go. Nice. Yay! Same thing we got. A three-way rig. And a little jig. We saw. <laughs> it's official. Hey, I'm doing the right thing though. Yeah, At least I'm doing the right thing. Yeah. It was delicious, dude. You'd have been proud of me, because you know I don't like fish. Now hey, when when I was there in my boat, they only cracked it. You know what I'm saying? It looked like they opened it wide today. Yeah. Look, they're packing up. That means it's over. Look, they're not even fishing. Fishing for a little bit, see if something comes out. <laughs> Look, they're just leaving. They know, dude. They know. Trust me, they know. It's legal. It's legal. You could go out there. It's legal, but I would not do it. So I was at the dam a couple days ago and a guy flipped in the generators again, right in front of me, again. I know I didn't give a real good explanation, but this is why like, we don't have a choice. You can see the surface of the water as far as you can see. No one's fishing. It's just, there's whole trees, whole entire trees in the river. So like, you can't cast out there. There's nothing you can do, so. Call it a day. Might catch you a tree pounder. There's a nice one right there. I think it's going to be hard to catch a fish. Well, guys, look at all the logs. Do you see all the logs out there? Look out there. Look at all the logs. Oh, yeah, I've been seeing them come through. They, we heard the guy say they were going to open the floodgates to let a bunch of debris through. And I mean, that's it. We're not going to catch any more fish. One, we saw one fish caught today. That's what we we're trying to target, though, with some big stripes. But we'll come out. We'll do this again. This is a great spot. I just wanted you to see. There's plenty of room to stand, plenty of room to park. There's a real nice bathroom. So this is this is the Cumberland River, Fordale Hall Dam. And I tell people where to go fishing. If you like that kind of thing, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, you guys. Have a better day.